Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribunet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us learn about wear of materials. Why to study wear of materials? The materials undergo wear due to various reasons. The mechanical action exerted on its surface and the environmental factors, the physical and chemical nature due to the process like fatigue and creep, etc. It is important to understand the behavior of the materials with respect to wear and it is mostly done by knowing its wear rate. What is wear rate? Wear rate is defined as the amount of material removed per unit time. This factor is one of the essential property of the material in understanding its role and life in many mechanical components. Here we can see one of the example of corrosive wear on iron tube. Wear in metals. The clean metallic surface is very much prone to friction and wear. The wear rate on these surfaces are very high. The wear rate of the materials also depends on the properties or the type of mating material. The contamination on the material surface forms the chemical films which reduces adhesion, thereby reducing the wear rate. Due to the high contact area in the soft metals like tin and lead, the wear rate is high even in the low loading conditions. However, in hexagonal metals such as cobalt and magnesium, along with the non-hexagonal metals such as molybdenum and chromium, the wear rates are low. Hence, they are used as an alloying metals for steels. There are various factors other than this physical and chemical properties which varies with the wear rate in case of the metallic materials. Wear of ceramics. The ceramic materials has the high mechanical strength and resistant to the corrosion. They readily oxidize at elevated temperatures. These properties of the ceramics causes low area contacts which helps in reducing the friction and wear at the surface interface. However, fracture toughness is one of the important parameters in ceramics which affects the wear rate. The change in the mechanical deformation increases the fracture toughness at the interface leading to increase the wear rate at the interface. There are operating conditions such as applied load, sliding velocity and the environment which affects the wear rate of the ceramics. Wear in polymers The polymers have the lower friction coefficients and moderate wear rate in comparison to the metals and ceramics. The polymers falls under the family of self-lubricating solids. The main wear mechanisms that occurs in the polymers are adhesion, abrasion and fatigue. These mechanisms are caused when the polymer slides with the harder material surface. During the run-in period, the wear rate is stable and after a duration of time, the wear rate will increase with increase in sliding speed and the operating conditions. The interface temperature of polymers and other solid lubricants are characterized by the function of the normal pressure sliding velocity. The polymers, when reached beyond the normal sliding pressure velocity, pressure velocity limit, melts even at the ambient temperature. The two important polymers are the plastics and elastomers. Here we can see the wear on the polymers. In this video, we understood why to study the wear in materials, the wear in metals, ceramics and polymers. These are the references for the information provided in this video and thank you for watching this video. To get more details on the topics related to tribology, follow us on our social media pages on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Tribunet. Also visit our website on www.tribunet.org.